Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Hearts of Arm 4 as we are playing with the Battle for the Bosphorus expansion as Austria Hungary. Alright, so uh, this episode we're going to be doing the naval invasions of all the territory here that the, the British and the Italians have under their possession. We're going to send two divisions into every port for the total of ten divisions that we're able to send right now. Uh, one of the things I want to do here early on, and it does look like we have... Oh, you're still trying to get that done there, which uh, we have an issues with because we don't have this up to 50% yet. Uh, so uh, one thing I wanted to do here is go ahead and ask the Germans for a license to build their submarines. Uh, because this is going to take a lot longer for us to get the subs than I was expecting. Because we, we simply just don't have uh, any experience, nor do we have any method for getting experience until we start working on those naval focuses, which are months away. So therefore, might as well get this now. Now, personally, I really don't like getting ships from the the AI because their designs are so cruddy. Uh, so there's really not much to, to be done about it. Though we're gonna have to select one of these cruddy designs, and I'm not entirely sure which one is the one that they're using. Which one is better, I should say? We have the submarine hole A here, and then we also have the Type Seven class. So we're just gonna go ahead and take a look and, and see if their stats are any different here. Uh, particularly that torpedo attack. So it's 18 on the other one. On this one here, I am not even seeing the torpedo attack. And maybe I'm just missing it there? And yeah, we got the, the visibility. Yeah, I mean, does it not even have torpedoes? Yeah, so it seems like this design just hasn't had the, the torpedoes added onto it, so we're gonna wanna use this one here. So I was going to ask him for it, and the only reason why we're doing it is just because we've already had so many convoys, and we have all these dockyards just building more convoys, when we could be building submarines. That's what, what I'm considering here. So let's go ahead and build these. We'll take a look at their design here. Yeah, they haven't done anything. They haven't added anything. So that's part of the reason for this, guys. And... Uh, yeah, we don't have any experience to, to change that. So I mean, we're, we're getting very, very cruddy submarines here. I mean, I know it doesn't seem like that bad. I mean, I guess they do have the better torpedo tubes than we do. So I suppose there's that. Uh, but yeah, I guess we'll we'll build some of these. But yeah, they're they're not great, man. Again, that's why I typically don't do this. Because it's uh, you're going to get pretty cruddy submarines overall. I uh, could go in and build it over here. We'll build it here, though. Uh, at our largest dock that isn't... Uh, I guess we'll have to do it in Italy. I suppose it doesn't really matter where we build it. Yeah, we'll build it up here. All right, so we'll place them there and put all of our dockyards into it with the exception of one and get those building. And we'll just build them until we no longer uh, need to use the German ones. Now, that is gonna require a bunch of resources. So, I mean, this isn't like a free action. All right, so we did get the passive defense. Excellent, so let's go and get the next one. All right. Fantastic. So when these will be done here, uh, when they'll be ready to, to do the invasions, let's just take a look here. It's the purple army, I think. We're looking at 14 days total to get it done. And of course, we do not have supremacy here, so we won't be able to launch them. So we'll probably need to get at least a submarine done, I think, to be able to do that. So we can go and get the chief of navy, uh, which I guess we could. There's This would let us get, uh, that's just more experience game for those ships. I mean, either way, none of these are, are great, guys. And we can't get the ship designer until we've gotten that naval warfare. Uh, so what I think we might end up doing is just leaving everything as is for now and then seeing if there's any decisions we might want to take that would be a better use of our political power. Now, war sport's already at 100%. Stability could be a bit higher, so maybe we want to go with the improved worker conditions. Yeah, I think that might be what we end up doing, guys. Yeah, let's go and do that. I know it's going to affect the factory output, but of course, stability also affects factory output. So we're gonna try and get it up a little bit higher. 57% is, is not bad, uh, but yeah, I'd like it just a bit higher than that. So we'll work on that for a little while and uh, we'll just be waiting until we can we can do these uh, invasions, which I suppose what we could do is just go ahead and tell them to go as soon as they're able to, just in case the Germans kind of help us cover this area here. Uh, so here's the anti common term pact. Uh, so we can say we stand by Germany as allies against the Soviets, which is what we are gonna do. And non-aggression, no, we're not going to accept that. 
very likely might end up at war with the common turn soon, which in, if that ended up happening, I don't know if we have enough troops on the, the border to stop their offensive. With the current number of troops they have, we could because they do not have very many divisions on the front, uh, but if they put more on there, then we could find ourselves uh, in a little bit of a, a problem there. So let's go and get the self-propelled uh, artillery, and then we're gonna go ahead and build up the medium tanks now, and we'll soon be able to start getting some divisions for them. Uh, so let's go ahead and pull back on the light tanks now. Just don't need as much here. In fact, we'll pull back even a, a bit more than that so that we can really pump into the, uh, the medium tanks here. Now it looks like the planes might have taken. Yeah, the planes took took over all those factories. Uh, we'll see if there's anything else we can pull from real quick. Uh, we'll see if there's anything we're, we're stacked on. Support equipment could probably be pulled from, I think. Uh, infantry equipment is still not where I want it, so we're going to keep going into that. We'll pull back from the support equipment a little bit. How about the artillery? I know we're trying to get those updated. So yeah, we'll keep uh, three factories into those. Motorized, we could probably pull back on that a bit. We've already got mechanized starting to build here. All right, so frankly, we just got to get more military factories. Uh, so let's go and take a look at what we're currently building because uh, we're going to want to to build more military factories. We already have some going, but let's get some more, guys. Uh, so let's go in this territory here. It's all core territory now. All right, excellent. So we're really focused on getting those military factories constructed. Uh, these two troops here are done, so we go and put them onto a front. Let's see where we might want to throw these onto. And we might just create a separate army here for right now. Yeah, let's keep them in a separate army. So we're getting those guys trained up. I also set up more tanks to train. What we need to do is get more Habsburg defenders though for all the the, uh, the ports that we're, we're currently needed to defend. And it does look like we are now short on infantry equipment from that. That's okay. Yeah, frankly, uh, the infantry equipment. We've been using a lot of that, and part of that is from garrisons. The garrisons are actually consuming quite a bit. All right, so let's see what we want to do next here. I so I suppose we should do the anti-partisans next. I think that might be the one we're using the most right now. So we'll probably want to do that. Seeing what other options here. You know what, actually, let's do the interrogation techniques. We'll do that one. So, that mission did, never did fire because we never got to 50%. It got ticked down too much. So, these two that were doing the missions, might as well go and assign, assign them to do something. So, not just sitting here. So, one thing that we could do is the control trade with the Germans so we can get more resources from them. Right now, we're good on resources, but a lot of people have brought that up. The one problem with doing that is you have to keep the operative there at all times. Uh, so, that's one part of the issue there. Uh, other possibilities is to attempt to apply diplomatic pressure uh, onto these countries here to get them to join our faction. I, I don't think they're very likely to join right now, so yeah, it's not something we want to do just yet. We'd have to... I mean, they're already not aligned, uh, but yeah, they're just not very likely to, to join the faction at all. So we could try and make them more likely, but I don't think it'd have much of an effect. Which one's the lowest? We got 335 there. 335 there, they might all be the, exactly the same. 235 there. So Estonia is a little bit more likely, but not much. <laughs> yeah, not much at all. So maybe we could try and do it. I don't think it would work though. We'll go ahead and do it. Uh, we'll send one guy over there to do it. Uh, again, I don't expect this to have much of an effect, uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll try. With the other guy now, uh, we're going to have him root out resistance. I think that'd be the, the best use of him. Because we're facing a lot of resistance issues, particularly around this area here. Maybe put them right here, and then that will hopefully uh, reduce it all around. Because remember, the uh, neighboring states are affected. Uh, so, we'll unleash from Portugal. We will. Uh, do we want to accept that? It's just infantry equipment. You know, yeah, I don't, I don't think we need to accept that, guys. I think we can take care of this ourselves. As we, uh,. You know, really start pumping into those those factories and getting their efficiency up. I think the infantry equipment efficiency is yeah, it's pretty high right now. So as that continues to increase, ten factories should be able to produce everything we need here. We're doing seventy per day. We could even put more factories into it if we wanted to pull from something. Uh, speaking of factories and resources, we're actually short again on the rubber and the tungsten. Uh, let's go ahead and get one more factory worth of both. 
We've gotten the concentrated industry. Uh, so let's go ahead and start working on some of the other 1941 techs. Probably construction next, and that'll let us get the excavation so we can trade for a bit less. I think that'd be helpful. We can get those military factories constructed a lot quicker as well. So let's go ahead and take a look and see how we've been doing on the bombing. Uh, we actually lost, uh, yeah, it looks like, okay, so we sunk some American convoys here. We didn't lose any planes. Oh, nope, we lost one there. So we're sinking American convoys that are coming through here. I imagine that they have troops in Britain now, which is going to make it a little bit more difficult to do the invasion there. Is what it is, though, guys. So these guys have not been able to launch their invasions just yet, because, of course, we do not control the sea here. And until we get our first submarine done, which we actually do have some submarines done. Okay, so now we can go in and get these guys assigned and see if they can gain control here. For right now, we'll just do convoy raiding. Oops. My bad. We also need to give him an admiral, which we only have one choice here. So we'll go ahead and assign him. And we could go in and get him some traits here, but yeah, I don't think we will right now. Well, I guess he is going to be our sub guy, isn't he? Yeah, we'll probably only have a sub guy. So yeah, we could go ahead and give him the concealment expert, reducing their visibility. Or give him the lone wolf, and we fleet size penalty plus 10%. We're going to reduce the visibility here. And then from there, we can do the retreat decision chance. All right, that'll work. All right, so let's go ahead and get these guys assigned to convoy raid in these areas here. That's not going to increase the efficiency as much as if we did a patrol. Well, let's wait. Uh, it looks like it's enough. Okay, excellent. So allow us to do those invasions. They won't be protected, so they could be sunk while going out, but I'm not really worried about it. If they get sunk, they get sunk. As you can see, it wasn't a problem. Uh, so let's go ahead and get all of Crete taken over now. All right, so I'm not entirely sure. Okay, so they went over here. That's strange, but whatever. Uh, we have control of it. Excellent. So Crete is ours. The All the other islands are ours as well. Fantastic. All right, so the invasions went super well, super easy, as you'd expect. And so we have taken over all those islands. And thus, I think we are done here in the Mediterranean. Yeah, let's just double check that real quick. See if there's anybody I'm missing. Uh, there is a little island there. Uh, that could end up going into German hands soon, though. Hard to say exactly what they're doing. Now, honestly, I'm not worried about that one little port. Although, taking away all their ports would ensure that if they have any ships here, then they wouldn't be able to be repaired. But yeah, I'm not going to worry about that port, guys. And it looks like we're actually facing some naval invasions right now. Uh, so yeah, they are looking to hit us here on the island. We don't want that in the Azores. And also, the Germans are facing invasion. So what we're going to do... Is I really feel like because we only have one division here and I do not want to lose this location is let's go ahead and get some coastal forts here guys in fact we're gonna build it all the way up to maximum really focus on that so that one division would be able to defend that territory when they attack us all right so with this uh, purple army let's go ahead and get them assigned somewhere potential invasions uh, attacks we could do is we could go into Switzerland if we wanted to we could also attack Lithuania uh, now we'd have to get war goals for both of these locations we don't have war goals right now nor do we have claims I guess we could go ahead and uh, attack into here into uh, Switzerland everybody wants me to so why not although it is gonna be a little bit problematic with the front apparently and we're gonna send all 12 divisions plus these two here and they are mountain troops, I think they'd be really useful to have on this. We could even send additional mountain troops from over here. In fact, that's probably what we're going to do. I think that would be incredibly useful. And then we can just take out three divisions here. We'll take the, the three with the most experience and then put them onto that uh, front there. All right, so we are good to go. Let's go and delete these. These are no longer necessary. All right, excellent. So yeah, we'll invade into Switzerland. Uh, not really getting much for it. Uh, which we would have to justify our war goal against them, of course. It'd be 125 days. Yeah, really not going to get much from it, uh, but why Why not? We'll clean up the map a bit. Try and make it so that, you know, all of Europe, or most of Europe anyway, is either in our hands or Germany's hands. Uh, so we got an agency upgrade at the same time we got this national focus completed. So let's go and get this selected first. And I suppose we're going to work with... One of the missions that we're already doing. Let's go and do the anti-partisan one since we do have somebody doing that mission. So that would be effective. That would be helpful. Uh, so we've gotten this national focus. Excellent. Uh, I think what we might do next is go ahead and get that naval warfare one. Just to get that knocked out real quick. I don't know that we'll continue down it. That'll give us a little bit of experience though so that we can actually build our own submarines. Since as you guys saw the, the submarines that we're currently building from the Germans are, are not great. 
Uh, they're, they're not uh, anything special. Uh, they were enough for us to do the invasions here, though, so that's good. Uh, we could also go ahead and move them to cover somewhere else. I don't think there's any convoys throughout here for us to fight. Yeah, there, there wouldn't be any convoys through here. So let's go ahead and do the convoy raiding here. This might result in them getting lost. But one advantage is that as they engage our submarines, our bombers will have an extra opportunity to bomb their surface fleets. So let's go ahead and take these ones out and then get them going over there. Again, they're just two cruddy submarines, so. So we did get the self-propelled artillery and I think we are done with that. We could get the, the tank destroyers. I don't know if they'll actually be necessary against the, the uh, Soviets. Really, you'd only need them if they had heavy tanks. They do actually have quite a few tank divisions on here. So I, I think having something there might, in fact, end up being helpful to make them a little bit better. But would we need them against the Americans? Probably not. They might roll with some heavy tanks, but typically they don't have many. Yeah, I almost feel like we're not going to do the tank destroyers. I think our piercing will probably be high enough for whatever. Again, we might run into some problems with some heavy tanks, but I don't think it's going to be that big of an issue, guys. So I don't think we're going to get that, guys. We have too much stuff to uh, to get, I feel, uh, to be working on that right now. So what do we want to go to get here? Uh, do, did we ever get the other invasion techs? Because I think we should do that. Yeah, let's go and get the next one. I think that'd be helpful. It makes our invasions better, and we can send more troops. So yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Get that next. Maybe we'll look to see if there's any other techs we need for our submarines. Since again, as far as the Navy goes, it's really just going to be focused on the, the subs. Uh, we did sink one of the destroyers there. Excellent. All right, and we are starting to bomb them a bit more. And that's without our submarines coming in here, because they haven't yet arrived. Uh, we are still bombing down here, and I, I suppose we'll, we'll see if there's anywhere better to bomb. Uh, there actually are some, some enemy ships there, so we'll keep them bombing there. Got a little war support there, excellent. So we get this claim justified here on the 15th of September. We could go and set up invasions here to invade into Britain now. Uh, let's go and get the, the new submarines going. Uh, oh, well, we gotta wait till we get that uh, Navy experience first, don't we? All right, so we've got that knocked out. Could we go and get the basic snorkels, or we could just go and go with the 1940 submarine holes. I guess that's what we'll do. We'll get these first. Just trying to really have top of the line uh, submarines out there, and make sure we're we're constantly assigning these guys over to here, which we might just have to have them go like so for now, and just put them on their own convoy rating. All right, so let's go and change up their icons a bit as well. Let's change these up completely. Just give them a, a new submarine icon here. Same thing with these guys. And they're gonna use the fleet's cover, which I didn't, I messed that up. We want to change the fleet cover color here. And they can have, yeah, they can be the sub here. We'll make them blue. All right, beautiful. Make sure they use fleet color, just in case we change them up. All right, so Metsco continues to push further down south, which again, doesn't seem all that wise, although Metsco's had some success here. Yeah, they've actually pushed back north. Surprising. Yeah, they're having success. I don't know what the Americans are doing, that that's become possible. Uh, Spain wants to give us lend lease. We'll accept that. Yeah, why not? Uh, sunk some more American convoys here. Excellent. Should start to see more American convoys getting sunk as our submarines come in. And I want to merge these two if at all possible. No, can't, not, not yet. Not while they're at battle. Or in battle, I should say. All right, uh, so I think the, the British are who we're working on for the Cypher, and I think we get that here within the year. And they did cancel that lend lease already. Yeah, we're going to decline that. Uh, and then we remember we get this here on the 15th of September, so a couple more months. And the Japanese did just declare war on the Dutch East Indies. And the People's United Provinces joined the common turn. Okay, so to kind of show you guys what's happened here, uh, the Dutch East Indies has now joined the common turn. Even though they're not communists, they're, they're democratic here. And that has resulted in Japan being at war with the common turn here soon. Yeah, because of that... 
that'll result in them having another enemy. So we will in fact see the four-way conflict that I was expecting to see here, where the Cometarian is, is going to be at war with everybody, uh, as is the Japanese faction, as is the Allies, and eventually as of the Central Powers, uh, because, you know, we're obviously already at war with the Allies and the, the Japanese fascist faction, and we sh will likely soon be at war with the Comintern, which is the only faction that we're not at war with. So yeah, a very interesting four-way conflict going on, guys. I kind of feel like we don't need the, the planes here anymore, so we'll likely go ahead and pull them back. Let me just make sure and see if there's no enemy ships patrolling here. Yeah, I think we're gonna pull these back Move them somewhere else, maybe have them focus on uh, that region up there, where I think they'd just be a little bit more effective. And then we can also bomb here. So let's go and move these guys into the English Channel. And we're going to take the fighters, and they're also going to come into the English Channel, because I feel like we're always going to need more, more fighters there. And then with the naval bombers, they're going to move over to here as well, so they can help us bomb there. And then with Portugal in our faction, we're going to want to help them bomb too. So let's go ahead and start bombing here, and we might actually see uh, some actual success there, perhaps. All right, so we'll see how that ends up going. And, okay. Just want to make sure we're not at war with the Soviets. We want to, we want to make sure we catch that. Uh, so we get the anti-partisans, the next one, I think that'd be helpful. And we do have uh, these guys still... Okay, so they're now doing their mission. So we're not doing those uh, those two missions we had them do anymore. Uh, they're now attempting to prepare the collaboration government on the Soviets. So yeah, the war has just gotten crazy, man. Absolutely crazy. Uh, I'd say the most surprising thing, though, so far has been the Mexicans holding out this long against the Americans. And in fact, it might even be winning a little bit, which I'm not sure what the Americans are doing. They have a lot of theaters that they're, they're probably fighting in. So maybe they're just distracted with those theaters when they haven't finished up their current one yet. Uh, we did bomb an American destroyer and, and sunk it, so that was effective. Just looking at uh, the invasion situation has changed at all. Looks like they're not going to invade our island any longer. Or they attempted to and failed. Okay. So yeah, the Japanese are, are in a lot of uh, a lot of trouble right now. They've only lost, they almost have lost Korea. They have had some su su successful naval invasions of the Chinese mainland, but just getting themselves into more trouble with uh, now being at war with the Comintern. So now it doesn't look like the, the Soviets have, nope, they're now in it. All right, so the Soviets are now in the conflict as well. So who knows what will end up happening there. Uh, our faction here has had some success in India, so that's good, and we're not even helping in that uh, conflict. But it does look like they might have lost a little bit here in Africa. It seems like they got pushed back a little bit. Maybe I'm I'm just imagining that, though. We did get the mechanized offensives. We're going to continue down this, though, and go and get the next one and get that max planning up. All right, excellent. And we can now modify our government. Again, there's really only the chief of navy, and there's just not anything all that helpful here. I mean, we'll eventually get one of them, but I'd prefer to get the ship designer, which we'll be able to get here in 30-something days, so we'll just hold on to our political power and get that. We're losing some planes here, but we are starting to bomb their actual fleet. Sunk a submarine, or excuse me, sunk a convoy there. And yeah, it looks like we might have done a bit of damage to their to their surface fleet. So that's what we're looking for, guys. Looking for some success there, so we can do this these naval invasions of Britain. I suppose we can go ahead and set these up now. Let me just double check Okay, we get that in 103 days. We could start planning, though, so they'll at least have that started. Question is, where do we want to hit? Obviously, you should avoid the locations that have the coastal ports, like Dover. So probably these two for right now. Now, we probably won't have success there. Yeah, not likely to have a lot of success there. So let's do, like, invasions of five here. Since that's all we can do at the moment. Typically, I don't have a lot of success when I hit these southern places, but they are the safest location to invade from. We could also try and invade from Ireland uh, if need be. Uh, but for right now, let's just send these five, since we can only do a total of ten right now. And so let's go ahead and do one from right here. And just trying to keep them from going into the sea too much. All right, so you know what? That's not going to work. We're going to have to do it from here. There we go. Beautiful. 
And that did cancel this. I'm not entirely sure why it's been doing that. I want you guys to go too. There you go. Five and five. All right, so that'll get them moving over to there. To locations. Obviously, won't be able to invade because we do not control the English Channel. Not even remotely close to controlling the English Channel. I don't expect to control it anytime soon. I do expect we'll likely have to do invasions from here. But this is just in case. You never know what might happen. Maybe they run out of fuel and then they can't keep their ships out there. Maybe our bombers are effective and destroying enough of them that they go and repair for a while. Another possibility is to try and hit their ports here, but. I don't think we'd be able to because I don't think we'd have control of the sky. I think the moment I put my bombers there is the moment that the British put their fighters there and then they start shooting all our bombers down. So we'd have to have enough fighters to cover both the English Channel and Southern England, and I just don't think we do. Uh, we are losing submarines. We just lost one, but we do have more here. So let's go ahead and get these guys joining. And he won't be able to. He wasn't able to join. All right, excellent. All right, so we'll have those guys come over here. Help us out. It looks like the Allies did do their invasion here. And hopefully the Germans can take care of that so we don't have to do it ourselves. They were not able to invade here. Again, they either canceled it or they failed. I could see either being a possibility. And a lot of stuff just happened here. Uh, okay, so we got the anti-partisan one. So I was gonna get another one again that would help us. We'll, we'll do the suicide pills. Try and get all those knocked out, guys. All right, uh, so again, just waiting to get the war goal on Switzerland. Just kind of gives us something to do, I suppose, while we wait. I would like to do the invasion of Britain before we do the invasion of the Soviets. I think that would be the best way to do this, guys, is to get them not, uh, knocked out. But of course, the problem here is gonna be seizing the control of the seas to do the invasion, uh, or getting paratroopers and then trying to get control of the skies so that we can drop paratroopers. That'd be an option as well. Uh, I never did build this, so we were gonna want to get that going and soon we'll be able to start building some actual divisions there. Now, our manpower is not quite where I want it. I almost wanna go ahead and, and, and pull back on, on like a, a couple of these light tanks here, just for like manpower purposes. But I, I guess we'll keep them going. Uh, but we do need to design a, a medium tank division. Uh, we can wait a little bit because we don't really have the equipment uh, to start building them just yet. Yeah, we only have 83 tanks, so we'll wait just a little bit before we do that. Uh, we do have free civilian factories. Let's go on and get more military factories in these uh, best locations first. All right, so just a ton of mil military factories. I think that's exactly what we're gonna need, guys. And then we'll, uh, you know what? One thing we could build is radar over here. Oh, looks like we can't get it. Never mind. Because that would have been helpful. Uh, let's see if there's any other steel locations. Maybe something we got from the Greeks that we could build in. Yeah, we'll do that. We're gonna take that up to the top as well. All right, uh, so let's take a look at these naval battles. See what we did over here. Just sunk some convoys there. Uh, not aggression pact from South Africa. We won't accept that. That's that one faction that we're not really interested in declaring war on. And we still need to get the focus before we spend this. This is going to keep messing me up, guys. All right. Uh, I did lose another submarine, so that's a shame. Yeah. Uh, oh, we never did build our own submarines. And we do have naval experience now. So we could go ahead and see if we have enough to start designing our own submarines. We'll take a look, guys. Uh, so we got the new engines here. Let's get the torpedo tubes and see if we have enough. Looks like we just have enough. 13 experience exactly. All right, excellent. So let's go ahead and do, uh, they're gonna be named after rivers, I guess. And then we'll want to name them. We'll just call them the attack subs. Attack subs. And these are the, oh Lord, which ones are these? These are the twos. All right, so let's go and save that. And now we can build better submarines, or they should be better submarines. Uh, yeah, they, they have a much, much better torpedo attack. So let's go ahead and build those. We'll let this one here finish up since we're already almost done building it. And then all those dockyards will then go into here. And yeah, I guess the, it uh, doesn't really matter what port we do it in. All right, uh, so yeah, we'll get that one last submarine done on the 14th of July, so just a couple days here. Uh, we do need to change up our resource trading situation here. Trade for bit more tungsten, and it looks like we're kind of short on the steel as well. Nothing really to trade with the Germans. 
Uh, we could trade with the Portuguese, I suppose. Though, again, that does re increase autonomy. Uh, but yeah, we'll have to do that for now. And then we have like some excess still as well uh, for any of those factories that we are currently working on building. We could go and get a, uh, that would actually be really wise to get an air base here so that we can not bomb from here. So let's go and do that. Let's go and build an air base. Uh, radar station would be useful here as well. I know it's just one radar station, but yeah, still helpful. Uh, and then we wanted to get the air base as well. Probably just getting like a level two here. I think that'll probably be uh, good enough. All right, excellent. So as far as the fortifications that we have here, it's up to level four already. So even that likely would cause them quite a bit of difficulty on attempting to attack us. The Canada Popular State. Yeah, that's in the common turns. So we're gonna decline them. All right. I was working on getting that national focus uh, finished up, and then we'll be able to. Well, I guess we already made our our design, didn't we? Yeah, so we wouldn't even need the experience that we're gonna get from that. But we can then spend our little power here. Yeah, we're we're sinking uh, convoys going through here. We're losing a lot of submarines though. We don't have very many to play around with. Let's go ahead and attempt to, yeah, I hate how you can't get them to join when there's a battle going on, so we'll have to wait until they finish up. Panama has capitulated. Okay, um, Mexico is having a lot of success. That tells me that that is most likely their allies here in the common turn, particularly probably the uh, Soviet Union, maybe even Spain. Australia could be in it as well. I think they are pumping troops into here, and that's what's causing the Americans' issues right now. Because, yeah, Mexico is doing quite well. Quite well. Uh, we got Ace Pilot promoted. Excellent. And we did finish up that focus. Uh, let's go ahead and get... What do we want to get next? I suppose we can go after that one. So about this one here. Uh, this requires that we do not control those those states. That's the reason why we can't take it. Uh, because we do control those states in Italy. Uh, now, somebody said, oh, we could just give up the states. You know, maybe give them to uh, Germany so they can control them. And uh, that's how we could take this focus. I don't know why we would do that. This gains us claims on some territory, but I mean, claims aren't really that important. Obviously, they make war goals cheaper if we were wanting to attack those areas, which we do not. Uh, not right now, anyway. Uh, so it makes the war goals cheaper. Also, if you have a claim, it makes it cheaper to take that territory in the peace problem, in the, the peace uh, treaty. But overall, yeah, I don't feel like it's worth doing. I don't feel like it's worth giving up Northern Italy for that. So yeah, we will not be be doing that last one again there's just no there's no real benefit to it uh so yeah let's go ahead and go after this one next i think that'll be helpful to get get those research bonuses there so and get those knocked out a little bit quicker improve our uh our synthetic refineries so we did sink another british destroyer but yeah so far not quite liked how uh we'll get the ship designer with that uh, political power we have. But yeah, I haven't liked our success here overall. Losing a lot of planes and submarines and, and not really having much success. Do we have any other planes that we could send over there? More close air, air support maybe? Send them over there to help out? I know we have some fighters just sitting here. Do we need fighters? Let's just take a look and see. Yeah, they might not have any planes here operating. Yeah, they don't have any planes operating here, so it's not really an issue. So we won't put any more fighters over there. I don't think it's worth flying them overhead. Do we have any... Do we have any naval bombers we could send here? Let's just take a look what we got. If we did, though, we should probably put them... We do have some naval bombers. We should probably put them over here once we get the... Uh, yeah, we'll wait until we get the airbase there and put those there. So, yeah, I guess we'll just put some close air support over here. See if we can't have a little bit more success here. Uh, so, yeah, we'll put these guys over here. And then have them do the naval strike. So they're not just sitting around not doing anything. Looks like we have some more close air support we could send as well. Maybe send them... Ooh, yeah, they'd have to go here, wouldn't they? We have had some success here. Not as much as I would like, though. So yeah, we could always send some more close air support over there. Yeah, I'll send them over there. And just see if uh, we can actually get some, some larger surface ships sunk. We got some destroyer sunk there, also sunk a convoy there. So yeah, you see a lot of American convoys coming through here. So I'm sure that's also hurting them in North America, is that they're they're putting all these convoys over here. Uh, troops, I, I imagine. Uh, this could also be supply convoys, which would also indicate that they have troops there already. All right, so what do we want to do next? Let's do the invisible ink. I'm going to try and knock out the majority of these. Just kind of get them done 
here early on, I think. All right. A couple more months until we're ready to declare war on Switzerland. Again, that should be a nice, easy conflict. And yeah, just losing a lot of planes here on this attempt to uh, sink their fleet. Uh, we did sink one of their submarines there. Uh, and we sunk two American submarines there. All right, nice. We'll take a look at our own submarines. We are losing a lot of planes with these, of course. Uh, there's also a naval invasion here of the British that was successful. They're just kind of throwing away their, their manpower, I feel, because they just keep getting pushed back into the sea there. Uh, let's them take a look at our submarines. Get another one of these assigned here. They're just constantly in battle, uh, the submarines, which is a good thing. Means they're uh, they're working. All right, so now we can go and add those guys in. All right, excellent. Yeah, losing a lot of planes here, guys. Hopefully our production can keep up, because yeah, just uh, a lot of notifications here that I'm seeing from planes that we have lost. And you just cannot do that when you have a plane. All right, sinking British convoys as well. Uh, did we get the airbase here? We did. All right, so let's go ahead and assign some naval bombers, the ones we have in the stockpile here. We're going to do a full 200 and bomb any American ships that happen to be going by here. And we'll see how effective that ends up being. They're really just trying to focus on destroying that allied fleet right now. All right, so uh, we do still need to design our medium tank divisions. I guess we'll get the uh, maintenance company next. Yeah, we'll do that. All right, so let's go through here real quick. We did sink another American submarine. Their, their flag keeps messing me up here. Uh, I don't associate it with the Americans, but yeah, we're seeing the American submarines there. Okay, so now let's let's go ahead and build out that medium tank division, guys, which we'll probably just go ahead and... I, I think we'll just go ahead and use the, the light tank division model and duplicate it. We do need a name for these. For right now, we're just going to call them the medium tanks. And I think we're going to go ahead and go straight up to 40 width division designs, guys. I think that's the best way to, to go about doing this. So let's go ahead and get quite a few of these added in here. I might need to change that. We'll see, guys. Uh, and then we're going to want mechanized added into here. Quite a few mechanized divisions. All right, so obviously we're going to need more than that. Let's go over here with this, and we're looking for the mechanized. All right, over here we'll do the self-propelled artillery. Medium self-propelled artillery, we're going to do four of those. And then we'll see where we're looking. So we can fit two more battalions in here. Organization's decent, uh, not bad at all. So probably going to want to split this up a bit and do the medium tanks, and then go with the, uh, the mechanized here. All right, so that looks pretty good. Uh, we can go ahead and change up these guys as well. I don't even know if this was the best way to do this experience wise Might not have been You know, actually, I think we will keep the the light armored recon here. I was gonna do motorized, but yeah Let's just do the light armor recon. That's the best way to do that We have the field hospitals. We have the engineer companies. We're gonna keep those in there and then we can do the logistic companies and We can always do the support anti-tank to give them a little bit of piercing here, I suppose uh, but you know what? I don't think we're gonna do that. Let's go and save this is 110 experience. This is incredibly expensive might not have been the best way to do this uh, but We're at 40 with here And I, I don't feel like redesigning it. So that's the way we're gonna do it guys. Uh, so let's go ahead and have We'll just build one medium tank division for now because as you can see we are lacking both medium tanks and medium self-propelled artillery These are 40 widths as well. Uh, so Obviously they need quite a bit of equipment and quite a bit of manpower Okay, uh, so we'll get those guys jumping into our divisions to train as soon as they are done, and that'll be our first medium tank division that we can put into service there. All right, so just continue kind of following along here, seeing how we're doing on getting the, the enemy fleets destroyed. Overall, again, I haven't done quite as well as I'd like. It's mainly just been destroyers and a few submarines here. Hopefully, we'll get a little bit more effective later on. Uh, but so far, yeah, have not been incredibly impressed with this. We are sinking a lot of convoys though, and those could be troop convoys, so that's a lot of men that we're killing. I guess we can take a look and see, yeah, they are troop convoys, the Americans coming through here. So yeah, we are we are killing troops here. You know, sinking their, their manpower, sinking their equipment, overall, it's very, very good. 
Uh, but obviously we do not control the seas here, nor do I, I know that we ever will. Again, we'll probably have to do the invasions from Ireland. That's what I would assume. Uh, we did get the invisible ink. Uh, so let's go ahead and get, what do we want to get next? And yeah, we're not really stealing uh, blueprints just yet. Could do the commander training, so we'll have a more likely chance of getting commandos. And we also still need to complete all these missions as well. So let's go start with commando training and we'll get that knocked out. We did uh, lose another submarine. So again, just not having good luck with the submarines here, guys. I feel like they're, it's still worth it, though, what they sink and what they help us sink by engaging the enemy fleets, letting our bombers get opportunities to, to bomb their fleet. I do feel like it's worth it, though. You know, the submarines and the planes that we're losing. And it's just going to continue to get better as we get more planes over there and better planes over there. Uh, also, we have sunk something here. We'll have to take a look see what's going on over there. Yeah, we did sink something right there. All right, so there's a bit of war here going on. It looks like the United States has conquered Venezuela. And they were in that Japanese faction. They were knocked out of the conflict. Okay, a lot of uh, a lot of successful bombings here, particularly of those those troop convoys. So this tells us that there's a lot of American troops that are coming into Britain right now. Quite a few. And those would be able to launch invasions, and, and most importantly, they're going to be able to defend against their own invasions. So it's going to make it more and more difficult for us to have success there. Uh, let's go and go after the excavation next. All right, so we almost have that damn war goal against the Swiss, and we'll be able to declare war on them. Uh, let's take a look, see if we have any troops that we can send over there. We do. So let's go and get these guys going now. Could send some tanks uh, to take advantage of opportunities that open, but I mean, it's like all mountains. They're just not going to perform all that well. Uh, we could try and increase this number all the way up and send them more divisions, I suppose. Let's take these guys and place them over here. I feel like somebody has a red army that's uh, a red army tank that's not supposed to. I don't know who that would be though. Yeah, I'm not seeing anybody here. Yeah, because I thought we had a, another one there. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just imagining it. So yeah, we'll have 15 divisions for this attack. I don't know if that'll be enough or not. I guess we'll see. Uh, it's the fight in the Swiss. You know, they don't have a lot of troops, but it is typically more challenging than you'd expect it to be, simply because of those mountains. Those mountains are a bit rough. Can be kind of hard to get through. So yeah, we sunk an American destroyer there. So yeah, I mean, you know, even if we're just sinking destroyers, I know that they're very cheap, easy to build. But at the same time, eventually, you know, they're gonna start running low on destroyers, and then that will result in your who does not have a deployment. These guys don't. And so let's just go and deploy all these guys, and then place them into this army here, and then we'll just set them up to to train. Uh, but yeah, that'll result in your submarines being more effective since they don't have the necessary screens to stop your submarines from attacking uh, their their capital ships. So eventually, you know, you sink enough submarines and, and it does have a, uh, excuse me, uh, sink enough destroyers and it does have a, a pretty large effect. All right, so we have got the justification done. So let's go ahead and go through these real quick. See how we did. Yeah, just sinking some convoys, sinking some uh, destroyers. No big ships. All right, so let's go ahead and declare war on Switzerland. We already know that they will be joining. And I don't think we'll call in the Germans. We'll try and get as much territory as we can do. And so we know that they'll, they'll join the allies, of course. So we're gonna wanna break through. Again, this is, no matter where we fight, it's gonna be a tough uh, tough fight uh, because of the, the mountains. So we wanna avoid uh, attacking every location and attack the, the most uh, strategically opportune locations, like right there and right there would be the two best locations to attack. But we don't have a lot of troops for doing that, so let's go ahead and send all these guys into this attack here. Somebody else can can man that for us. Let's use this guy here. And maybe even send this guy up here. And then same thing here. And we don't really have any very many mountain troops over here for this. We'll see how they end up doing. Uh, we do need to put our planes in this guy. I did forget about that. Uh, so they did join the allies as we'd expect them to. Uh, so let's go ahead and take these fighters here that we have and get them helping us out here. And it looks like the Germans might have been called in anyways as soon as they uh, join the allies. Uh, so let's go ahead and get these guys flying overhead 
And then we're gonna go ahead and make sure we get some, some closed air support as well. Though I think I did send all the closed air support over here, didn't I? Yeah, it looks like that's the case. So we might wanna take some of these away. Let me just double check where we're at here. So these are both closed air support. So let's go and take some of them, bring them over here to help us out. And obviously we want them to do the closed air support mission. And then maybe send some of these guys as well, if they're any close air support over here. Yeah, we do have a few, so let's go and send these guys over here as well. And there we go. All right, excellent. So that should be enough to help us out. And we're already getting wins here, so not bad. They're attacking us there. And obviously we don't want to lose there, so we'll go defend it real quick. Maybe bring these guys here. All right, so we did get the commando training. Uh, so let's go ahead and get something else here. I almost want to just start going down. Yeah, let's just, so I don't even have to look and think about it. We'll just kind of go down. I'm going to get them all. Uh, so all the ones that, that we'll actually utilize, I mean. Let's just slow this down just a little bit here. Kind of go through these battles, just see how they've been going. I do like keeping an eye on the naval war. Yeah, it looks like we did lose some convoys over here. Well, that's unfortunate. On aggression packs, um, let's find out where, what faction they're in. Again, if they're in the, the Commonwealth of Free States there, then we will accept it. I'm guessing Kenya is as well, though I don't actually know, so we'll double check. Uh, here we go. Yeah, looks like they are. We're gonna decline that one, and we'll accept that one. All right, excellent. All right, so having success in both of the two locations that we're fighting in, again, just trying to reduce our total attacks. They can have that province, that's fine. All right, so we were able to win in both of those locations, and then that lets us push into the back here now. All right, beautiful. All right, and then this will cut off these guys here. Let's go and send these guys in. Again, just really taking all the mountain troops and having them go in. All right, having success there. These guys are attacking right there. Let's just go and attack there. Again, they can take a little bit of our territory. We don't care. It's not much of a concern. Uh, we have to defend here, but that's across a river, so it's kind of a stupid attack on their part. Did lose a submarine there, but sunk a destroyer. Let's go and get... Uh, I won't be able to assign both of these. We're going to assign one, though. Oops. All right. These guys are trying to get them assigned. It's not working, though. All right, we'll just have to do our own little... Uh, Force here. Sometimes when they're in battle, it can be kind of tricky to get additional troops assigned. Let's go ahead and do some convoy raiding there. All right, excellent. Uh, and I don't think we'll be able to finish this this war before the end of the episode, guys. Uh, we do have the war propaganda against Switzerland. We're going to say we don't need to be notified about that. Yeah, and here we're ready to move. We just got to finish up that defense there. All right, so we've retaken this province here. Again, just trying to reduce the total like provinces we are attacking in. I'm just really trying to focus on getting the key cities here. And then with the same thing with these guys here, we're gonna have one go that way. And then one go that way. Alright, excellent. I'll have this guy hold that province for us. Somebody else can come take take his location for us. Yeah, so just getting into the back here, and this will re result in us not having to fight them in every single one of the provinces. Again, just trying to reduce our total provinces that we are fighting in. It's been harder to get the win there than expected. Uh, let's go ahead and get a win here. We'll send all these divisions just, you know, in case they attack us, somebody will get it done. Cut off that division that's right there. Uh, we are actually losing that attack now. All right, so we'll just have to stop it. Uh, that has not been effective. That's fine. Again, the win is, this is the win right here. Taking these two locations here and then it'll be over for them. And we can do the war bonds decision uh, if we wanted to, and that's always helpful. And I don't think there's anything else that we're waiting on doing right now, so why not? Let's get those civilian factories, those extra civilian factories. I uh, did sink two more American combo, or excuse me, two more American destroyers. So that's super helpful. All right, so that is unfortunately going to have to be the end of today's episode, guys. Uh, again, just really focusing on the uh, the naval conflict over here, just trying to get the, the Allied fleet destroyed. Uh, that is key 
uh, getting them destroyed in order for us to have any kind of real success here. So yeah, I've just been trying to get the British fleet destroyed, uh, get the British and American fleets destroyed, if at all possible. I, I think the naval invasions are probably going to have to happen from Ireland. More than likely, I just don't think we'll be able to get control here. Uh, you know, the submarines aren't going to be able to do it, and, and we'd have to, I mean, maybe if we sunk enough of them, but I think we'll, we'll likely go ahead and shift gears uh, as soon as we get that tech and then have some of these divisions here instead do a naval invasion from Ireland and see if we can't have some success getting control of the western approaches. Put some naval bombers there, put some submarines there, see how well that ends up going. I'd like to get the British de uh, defeated before we attack the Soviets, but we might not be able to, guys. Uh, but, you know, it's not like this is wasted time. This is allowing us to get our troops built, get the equipment built up, and then hopefully be able to get our first medium tank division done as well. Uh, maybe get a couple medium tank divisions done in preparation for the conflict against the Soviets. Now they are now at war with the Japanese, so they're going to start putting troops onto that side. Uh, so that's only going to help us. As far as other fronts they're fighting on, though, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, there's really nobody else for them to, to fight at this moment. Unless they were trying to invade into, like, uh, Alaska or something, or, or take their uh, a two island, but I don't know. I doubt the Soviets are currently working on that. Uh, very surprised with the success of the Comet turn here against the Americans. Yeah, quite a, quite surprised by that overall. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I do hope to see you guys on the next episode, and thanks for watching.